Hello, welcome to the Maya Tool Belt. This is Michael. Let's go back to the effects menu set and we're looking at fields and solvers. So another one that's kind of cool is the Newton field. Newton field. Let's look into the options of this. So again, like most of the other fields we're going to be looking at, it does have the volume uh, settings down here. We're not going to talk about them every time, but they do uh, come up pretty much in each field. So if you do want to look at these uh, volume options, and I don't talk about them in this video or any of the future field videos I do, feel free to look back at the first one I did, which was the air field, and I do talk about it there in more detail. So here's the Newton field. But here up at the top, we have Newton field name. You can name it if you'd like. If you don't, you uh, will get a default name. And again, just like all the other fields, you have a magnitude setting, which is the power of the field. Attenuation, which is that drop-off effect that we've talked about before. And then a min distance. This is new. And then we have use max distance, on or off. So again, before we can really look at how the Newton field affects anything, we need something for it to affect. So let's create a grid of particles again, going to the in particles field, in particle tool, double click it, and I'm going to say create particle grid again. And I use, uh, I'll actually use the cursor this time, and I'll just click here. You can see a little tiny red dot there. Click here, over here in the corner, hit enter. So now they're little spheres. And I'll actually change the background to black. I think it makes it a little bit easier to see. So with the uh, spheres selected, and I can go up to Fields and Solvers, Newton, Options again. I'm going to go to Edit, Reset Settings, just to make sure everything's at its default settings, and hit Create. So you'll see the Newton field is located here in the center. If I raise this up, the icon kind of looks like two arrows pointing at each other. So again, I need to bring up my playback controls by going to Display, uh, UI Elements, and I'll break this off and turn on Time Slider and Range Slider, then I'll close that. I'll give myself about 500 frames or so, so we have some time to play with. And in the options here, which is this little running orange guy, I'll make sure my playback speed is play every frame, hit save, rewind, and play. Whoa, there we go. This is a Newton field at work. Let's make that last longer, because I think it looks awesome. 2,000 frames, play. So what's going on? So all these balls are being pulled into a vortex type of uh, field almost. Although it's not a vortex, it's, it's like a black hole more like. It's being pulled down into a point. They go past that point due to uh, dynamic forces and being pulled back to the point. So it's going back and forth in a uh, tight pinching motion through here. So the particles are coming in, kind of going past the field, coming, being pulled back in, going back and forth. So this is the Newton field. So let's look over here in the attribute, or the channel box, I should say. Magnitude, again, that's that power that we talked about before. Let's decrease this down so it's not quite so strong. Hit play so you can see a little bit more what's going on, maybe. But yeah, it's... You can kind of see the uh, plane of polygon or plane of spheres, I should say, almost get back to a plane shape before it kind of being pulled back in. I think that's almost hypnotizing. It's really cool looking. That's, so that's magnitude. Attenuation right now is set to 1, which is that kind of drop-off effect. If we turn this down to 0, see if there's much of a difference. Okay, yeah, it's pretty stark difference there with attenuation down to 0. There's no fall-off effect that you have with it up to 1. Let's go back to 1 again so you can see how it's a little bit more gradual paced with attenuation. Take attenuation away and it's just all out 100% throughout. Isn't that neat? All right. <laughs> so use max distance is turned off right now. Let's turn it on. Rewind and play and see what makes a difference with the default settings. Okay, so yeah, we're not getting anything right now. Max distance right now is negative one, that might be why. Let's change this up to like five. There we go. So only within five units of the field is the field having effect. Let's rewind. And let's see, let's scroll down here. We all we have the volume uh, stuff that we talked about before. 
let's look back at the options. So again, Newton options. So magnitude, again, that's the power of the field. Attenuation is that kind of drop-off effect. And then min distance, that's the minimum distance. Again, that's just like maximum distance, where maximum is how far out it will uh, look for things to affect. Minimum distance is how far in, I guess, it will look. So let's uh, play with that. So minimum distance right now is 0.2. If we make it 2, for example, play, you can kind of see there's like this hole right here around the field that's not being affected by the field. It's like a uh, almost the field's kind of affecting a donut shape with a minimum distance of 2 and a maximum distance of 5. We have this uh, area from 2 to 5 around the field that's effect being affected by the field. So that's what the, that's what the minimum distance or min distance does. So again, yeah, use max distance, min distance, attenuation, and magnitude. This one's a relatively uh, simple field to uh, kind of understand what's going on. Let's uh, just, for the sake of playing with it, let's uh, set a keyframe for this field's translation over here. And then we can move it over here and have, just have it kind of walk across this field and see how it... <laughs> This is with the min and max uh, settings, uh, distance settings have, be having effect. Let's take uh, use max distance, let's turn that off. And min distance we can take back to point 0.2 like it was before. Rewind, play. So yeah, there, now without a max distance it just pulls the entire uh, field of balls toward it. Let's maybe turn max distance back on and and I'm just playing with it right now. Let's make max distance something like uh, 15. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, it's pretty neat, I think. Again, there was the volume stuff. If we change the volume shape to say, let's do a sphere, we can scale that sphere up. We can turn max distance off since we can use the sphere instead. So now only the particles that enter that sphere become affected in that way. So yeah, it's a neat field. It, like I said, it's kind of like a black hole effect. It pulls the particles in. Uh, I don't want to say vortex because there is the vortex field. Okay, so don't want to get that confusing with you guys. But yeah, Newton field. It's neat. I recommend playing with it and see what you think. Talk to you later.